Today I'm going to be doing a review for the Scotty Make Stuff Z-axis stabiliser for the DJI Osmo Pocket. It's a great little stabiliser for taking the bounce out of your walk and we'll get some demo footage right now. So you saw some footage there shot on the Osmo Pocket here in North Norfolk using this great little Z-axis stabiliser. In case you don't know what a Z-axis stabiliser does, they take the bounce out of your footage if you're filming while walking. The beauty of this stabiliser is it has variable tension and can take various cameras. It's got a threaded socket on here so you can get your attachments on there and you can put anything from a, the Osmo Pocket to a phone, Osmo Pocket and a phone. Um, or GoPros and this allows you to film while you're walking along and it can actually look like drone footage in some cases it's so smooth. So let's get into the details. The stabilizer itself is 3D printed. This model is the Micro Pro 2 and cost me 94 US dollars including shipping which works out at just over 70 pounds. It's made in Australia by Scotty Makes Stuff and this only took one week from ordering to arrive with me here in the UK. So how does it work? The stabilizer essentially is mechanical. It works by damping the up and down movements using this spring. There are two settings to refine the damping effect. The one on top is the payload adjuster, which accounts for different weights of camera unit. The arm should sit roughly horizontal. The other is on the side here, the damping adjuster, which adjusts how much and how easily the arm moves and stops bouncing. There are four configurations for the arm. Inverted mode, supposed to be the easiest to master and said to give the smoothest footage. Balanced upright mode, this one, my favorite. It allows me to use the phone screen without cables or Wi-Fi units so I can see what I'm shooting. Upright mode, quicker to set up, similar to this, but not quite as balanced and not as comfortable to hold. And then selfie stick mode, which allows you to get the camera a little bit further away from you if you're walking along doing a piece to the camera. So this is selfie mode, with it extended out as I walk along. You can see it's taking out quite a lot of the bounce, so now I'm bouncing, not the camera. Most Z-axis stabilizers I've seen can only work with the Osmo on its own and then require cable or Wi-Fi that then attach to a phone somewhere else on the unit. But this is great because it can take the weight and you've got everything in one place. I mean, let's be honest, that little screen on the Osmo is pretty much good for nothing. So being able to see what you're filming and control all of the camera options on the phone screen while it's directly in front of you is great. I added a couple of things to the stabilizer. The first one is this grip here, which allows me to put the phone and the camera on top of the stabilizer. This doesn't come with the stabilizer. Um, it cost me 35 pounds on Amazon, so it's not the cheapest, but it does a fairly good job. Um, the rubber in it does wear after time and the camera can drop out if the phone isn't connected so just be aware of that. Another change I made is to add some squash racket grip to the handle which gives you a really nice comfortable grip and it's not going to slide out of your hands. So it lets you use the soft hand technique they talk about in the instruction booklet. And I've also added some marks on here when I want to put it into use, line them up quickly, see the positions of the arms. One change I'd like to see on future versions would be a slightly bigger handle. This one is a bit short and I find my finger rides up and gets pushed into here. I also picked up this gimbal cover on Amazon. Um, just protects the camera and the gimbal when you're not in use, easily slides on and off. Here's a couple of quick tips to, to get more cinematic footage from your Osmo Pocket. I always shoot with the, the Osmo on manual mode and I manually expose and I shoot it on 50 frames per second, which allows me to slow down the footage to half speed. This gives a smoother effect to your footage and is great for B-roll. White balance I tend to set manually as well rather than leave it on auto. As the scene changes, you move the camera around, the colors in the scene can then cause the white balance to change, which looks a bit weird. So that's a good setting to have. So there you have it. In my opinion, this Z-axis stabilizer from Scotty Make Stuff is a great piece of kit to have in your bag. It does cost more than many of the other stabilizers on Amazon, but you only have to read the reviews to know you get what you pay for. 
Its adaptability to balance both the phone and the Osmo make this a must-have in my camera bag. Well done, Scotty. Great product. Two thumbs up from me.